Remember GTA? The first Grand Theft Auto game I've ever played was in fact GTA 2, and yes, that probably makes me old. When playing a GTA game, you may have noticed that Grand Theft Auto has always been an over-the-top satire of the American style of living and the culture. These games never much cared that much about political correctness and aim to offend where they just can. That makes the GTA series obviously not a game for everyone, but gave it an identity. Now, we were able to have a look at the GTA 6 trailer and got something like a release window, 2025. I doubt the release will really be in 2025, but we will see. The trailer, however, felt more like some damage control by Take-Two and Rockstar after the leaks around the game. All in all, we might be overhyping GTA 6 right now and might not receive the game we want to see. Rockstar is not a holy company, as we have seen during the development of Red Dead Redemption 2, having a crunch schedule of 100 hours per week and reports of mandatory and unpaid overtime. Things which are usually not accepted anymore to that extent by gamers and always sheds a bad light onto a company. Things are even getting worse for the GTA 6 development. And of course, when developing and producing a game, you don't have a single person sitting there and making all the decisions, programming, music and writing. Games such as Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption have usually hundreds to thousands of people working on the same project, sometimes even around the globe. However, very often it takes just a couple of people bringing in the right ideas, so-called being the head of it and investing their heart and soul into such a game universe. Three of them could be Dan Hauser, Leslie Benzies and Laszlo Jones, all being at Rockstar for decades and involved in the development of the GTA and Red Dead Redemption games we know. Dan Hauser as co-founder, head writer and vice president of creativity, Benzies as lead developer and Jones as producer, voice actor and director. Of course, they have now left the company some time ago, some in peace, some rather not, and will not be influencing the path GTA 6 will take, which of course opens the door for different ideas and minds, maybe younger ideas. The problem with such a change is old fans might be heavily disappointed when newer and younger mindsets come into an established environment, which people have grown up with. Some fresh mindsets might not like an established environment and want to introduce changes. Some of these changes might be needed, others maybe not. Not. Such an example could be the entire Star Wars universe after it was taken over by Disney. Very often not everyone is on the same track on what a game or movie is or should be about. They have different ideas for the direction. And of course Rockstar has other big creative heads which maybe could take over. And if it is not the loss of their current creative heads which could lead to a problem for GTA 6, it would be our current society. A society which has become very sensitive to the kind of humor the GTA series is presenting. The games are violent and they make a parody about just everyone. And with everyone, I mean really everyone. Equally, no matter which social group one belongs to, the game series had a mix of heavy satire, seriousness, and sometimes some grounded story. However, with how sensitive our society has become, Rockstar will probably be forced to turn down the humor we are all used to in Grand Theft Auto. The reason can be investors and new management not wanting to risk too much for the company, trying to apply for funds for the game development, or just trying to expand the fan base. Currently, we do not know how GTA 6 will turn out. It is still a long time to go until we will be able to see more what GTA 6 will be about. 2025 is just a very rough release schedule. We don't know if it is the beginning or the end of 2025, and depending on how development goes and what is happening on the world, GTA 6 might even even be delayed further. What we definitely know is that Rockstar will release GTA 6 for PS5 and Xbox Series XS and gamers on PC will most likely need to wait some time longer. According to rumors, Rockstar doesn't have the capacity to also release a PC port at the same time of a console release. After the release, I would also expect the game to be in need of a bunch of fixes until it runs with the expected quality. While Red Dead Redemption 2 was a masterpiece and overall success successful release, it wasn't perfect and needed its polish after the release. But we will see what is happening. What are your thoughts on GTA 6? Feel free to drop a comment. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!